In this tutorial, I am going to make you understand the difference between food safety and food quality. First of all, let us discuss food safety. It is a process of preventing food from the risks that may affect it and consequently affect directly or indirectly to the consumer. From this definition, it is clear that food safety is not property of food itself. Rather, it is our duty and responsibility to prevent food from various hazards that that may that may harm the consumers. The various hazards are number one, physical hazard, which includes foreign objects in food that can cause harm when eaten, such as glass or metal fragments. Second is biological hazards, which includes microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, yeasts, molds, and parasites. These are the main clients which are responsible for the food poisoning. Next is chemical hazards, which includes water, food contact materials, cleaning agents, pest control substances, contaminants, pesticides, biocides and food additives. Next hazard is radiation hazards. Radioactive chemicals emit harmful radiations that at large doses is harmful soon after exposure and at small doses is harmful years or decades later. Our food may become contaminated through the absorption of radioactive chemicals found in soil or water. Nowadays, food irradiation is used for the purpose of the preservation that can also become a source of radiation hazards. Next hazard is allergens. Food allergy is the most prevail, uh, prevailing disease, especially in US. So the US has declared eight food allergens as shown in below figure dairy, gluten, seafood, soya, egg, peanuts, shellfish, and tree nuts. These foods were identified because they cause about 90% of the food allergenic reactions in the US. Next hazard is food allergens. They are referred to the foreign and usually inferior chemical substance present in food that cause harm or is unwanted in the food. Next hazard is pests. Pests can carry a wide range of disease causing organisms that can cause harm to consumers. They can also cause physical contamination of ingredients and processed products. For example, droppings, shed fur and feathers, body parts, nesting material and damaged packaging. Next hazard is legal risk. It is too expensive to guarantee that all food is safe. The alternative is to identify the risk of the unsafe food. Pursue management strategies to reduce the risk and to discuss and interact to assure the food industry, food regulators and consumer, consumers uh, appreciate understand the risks and strategies to reduce the risk of unsafe food. Now, let's talk about the food quality. Food quality is to achieve all the food required characteristics and acceptable to consumers. From this definition, it is quite clear that food quality is the property of food itself. Food quality includes various quality attributes and those quality attributes have been categorized under two categories internal quality attributes and external quality attributes internal quality attributes includes taste and flavor a good taste and flavor of any food 
depicts its good food quality. It may vary from person to person and region to region. Next, internal cartilage attribute is in ingredient. The type of ingredient which is used for the manufacture of the food product depicts the quality of that food. The superior ingredients, if the superior ingredients are used for the manufacture of that food, the food, uh, food, the quality of the food will be uh, high. Next is the nutritional value. A good nutritional value of any food depicts its high quality. Next is weight. Weight is an important internal quality attribute used to determine the food quality. Now under the category of the external quality attributes, these are those quality attributes uh, which can be perceived by the consumers without consuming uh, the food and it includes the order. The good order of food depicts its high quality. Next is appearance. Appearance is the most important quality parameter which determines the quality of the food. The more attractive food depicts its high quality and high demand. Next is the size. Food is considered to be of high quality, but this is not always true. So this was all about the food quality and food safety. Hope you understood this. Thanks for watching.